This is the ultimate guide to being a pea plater. If you're watching this video, chances are you just passed your driving test. Whether you did it flawlessly or stuck the instructor at 50, here's a few things you need to know to become a world class driver like me. The two most important parts about being a pea plater are Macca's runs and wrapping your car around a tree. But before you ride off your first car, trying to drift with an open differential, you need to buy a car to ride off in the first place. As a pea plater, there's three ways to get your first car. The first being a hand down from your parents. The second option is to buy a shipbox Falcon or Commodore using the money you saved up from working at Hungry Jack's. And the third option is getting your parents to buy you a car. Where I live, in Melbourne, Victoria, there's four types of pea plate cars that I see most often. The first being any clap Falcon or Commodore from the late 90s to early 2000s. These cars are usually the AU or BA Falcon or the VS or VY Commodore. There are two standard P-plate performance mods for these cars, those being the welded diff and the straight pipe exhaust. These performance mods are an essential for an old Commodore or Falcon. The straight pipe exhaust is a great safety feature. It lets other motorists know that any second now, an AU Falcon or VS Commodore will come flying around the corner sideways at 120 k's an hour, ready to take out any poles, trees or oncoming motorists that stand in their way. The second most common P-plate car that I see on the road is the Golf GTI. It's no coincidence that the two words Golf and GTI can be rearranged to spell out the two words Flog and Git. An essential modification for the Golf GTI is a pop crackle tune. The pop crackle tune, paired with a straight pipe exhaust, lets everyone know that there's a flog on its way. It's easy to find a flog in the wild. All you have to do is drive down Princess Highway and listen out for the DSG farts. The third most common P plate car that I see is the 1990s to early 2000s off-roaders. Usually an 80 series Land Cruiser or a GQ Patrol with a 15 inch lift and 48 inch tyres. Paired with a fresh set of Bluetooth sway bars, this is a roadworthy tester's worst nightmare. And if somehow you didn't end up with any of these three types of cars, you've either got your mum's hand-me-down or a Toyota 86. Now that we've been through the top three types of P-plate cars, here are some phrases that you'll need to know. The first phrase is, I'm gonna turbo it. This phrase is exclusively said by P-platers who have a car that they do not plan on turboing. The second phrase is, I'm gonna do it up. This phrase is usually said by a pea plater who got their mum's hand-me-down or bought a hunk of shit. 99% of the time, they don't end up doing the car up. But if they do, the mods consist of tinted headlights, tinted tail lights, a huge rear wing, racing stripes, and LEDs. A third phrase you might need to learn is, it's actually pretty quick. This phrase is exclusively said by pea platers whose cars are not pretty quick. The next handy phrase you might need to know is Sorry officer, my foot slipped off the clutch. The only time this phrase is ever used is when you get pulled over for doing a burnout. Even though you fishtailed up the whole street, you still use this phrase to try and get out of the charge. Continuing on from the last one, the phrase Sorry officer, I thought this was a 250 zone is used as a last ditch effort to try and save yourself after being done doing 180 in a school zone. The final phrase you need to know is I bought it like this. This is the number one proven solution to getting out of any defect. Now I need to teach you how to drive like a pea plater. Believe it or not, I'm a pea plater myself, so I've basically got a PhD in this topic. When you're cruising down the street in your AU Falcon or Golf GTI, there's a few simple rules you need to follow. Your seat needs to be so far back that you could practically fall asleep while driving. Your music needs to be as loud as possible to keep you from falling asleep due to the fact that your seat's so far back. While I'm here, I'm going to give you a couple driving tips. When you see those signs on the side of the road with a number and a red circle around it, this is the minimum speed limit. This means if it says 60, you have to go 61 or quicker. And if there's someone in front of you doing the speed limit or less, you have to tailgate them and flash them till they get out of your way or speed up. And always remember, green means go, red means stop, and orange means fucking floor it. In Australia, when it comes to driving, there's only one skill that you need to learn. 
the burnout. As an expert in this topic, I'll now teach you how to do it in both an automatic and manual vehicle. In an automatic vehicle, put the car into first, hold the brake and accelerate at the same time and hope for the best. In a manual vehicle, it's a bit easier. All you've got to do is put the gear stick in first, hold the clutch in, smash the accelerator through the floor, then drop the clutch. If all goes well, one of your back tyres will start spinning and you'll head straight into the nearest tree or gutter. Now that you've mastered the fine art of the single pegger, you need to learn the art of the street race. All you need to do to initiate a street race is pull up at a red light next to any car, rev your engine and hope for the best. The final and most important part of being a pea plater is social media. You need to make a TikTok or Instagram account about your car, telling everyone how fast it is and bragging about how many street races you've won, even though you have no videos to prove it. You get extra bonus points if you end up on the Facebook page. Imagine my surprise at the pea plate in this photograph. But the ultimate pea plate move is posting a video of you doing a single pegger without blurring your plates and getting your car impounded. Now that I've shared my wisdom with you, you have all the knowledge you need to be the ultimate pea plate driver. Wait, hold on a second. I can't believe I've made this whole video and I forgot to mention the most important pea plate car. I think you guys know exactly what I missed. And that is the Mitsubishi Lancer. While the AU Falcon is the best car for people such as supermodels, porn stars, bodybuilders and celebrities like me, the Mitsubishi Lancer takes the cake when it comes to pea platers. The Mitsubishi Lancer has everything a pea plater wants. It's slow, cheap, boring and ugly. But that doesn't stop pea platers from trying to turn their base model Lancer into an Evo. It's a little known fact that the ES trim level on the Lancer stands for Evo Sport. So that means that every pea platter with a thousand dollar Lancer ES makes it their duty to make it look as good as an Evo. Some of the tasteful modifications that pea platters use to achieve the Evo look include a GT wing on a front wheel drive car, scratches on the headlights, fake bonnet scoops off eBay, Kmart LEDs, blacked out tail lights, and most importantly, eBay special Evo badges. And once you've got all these parts together, your Mitsubishi Evo Sport should look something like this. Isn't it beautiful? Well, not this beautiful. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment and share if you'd like to hear more wisdom from the prophet of Yorak Hunt.